Yo. All right, I'm Terry. What's your name? <laughs> Ty. How are you, sir? Man, I like them shoes, bro. Oh, got that whole okay. thing going on. Okay. I got to get doing? my money up. <laughs> hey, it took about 20 years for this ah, outfit. Ah, yes, yes. Now, what have you come in here on AGT to do, Ty? I'm coming to tell some jokes. Uh, I know that sounds very simplistic, but it, it really is a big deal for me because when I became a dad, whatever I did after that had to have some stability. Right. That's when I got into pharmacy because I knew I needed a job that made money. Right. You gotta take care of that family. Yeah, now that my kids are older, comedy's a thing that I said, you know what? Let me take a chance and try it. But, you know, even, even my mom was like, I remember when I told her I was quitting the job to do pharmacy, she was like, Okay. <laughs> okay. I always wanted to prove that I could do both. Be a great dad and be a great comedian. I feel like you're going to do amazing, brother. What's your name? Ty Barnett. And where are you from, Ty? Hey. Chicago, South Side. And how old are you? Uh, I'm in my 40s. You look good. Oh, you look great. What do you do for a living? This is it. I do stand up. Um, I'm a dad. I have uh, three daughters. I have two uh, biological and one daughter in law. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about 18 years. 18 years? 18 years. So, you were already 30. That's kind of late for a I started. I started after I got out of the military. I was in the Army for a while. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Was it always a dream to be a comedian? You know what, ever since I first saw Richard Pryor. Like, I remember when I worked at a hospital, it was always a thing that I wanted to do. And what I loved about Pryor was that, you look at this audience, man, like so many different people. I was like, man, look at how he's making all these different people laugh. And he's that's my what I hero. Love. Yeah. Well, Good to show you. us your stuff. Oh, OK, here we go. <laughs> Uh, first of all, thank you guys uh, for having me here. I love seeing all the talent back here. So young, it's awesome, uh, which actually kind of makes me feel a little bit old. <laughs> like, I'm a man, but I'm a specific type of man, and that's the beauty of getting older. Like, example, ladies, I'm the type of guy that if we go out for the evening and somebody disrespects you, I will defend your honor. <laughs> but understand that the level of defense depends on the size of the offender. Like, in my heart, I want to be like, yo, dude, what did you say? But it might be like, yo, babe, what did you say? <laughs> I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. <laughs> um, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. <laughs> I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> it's a school night, you're being disrespectful. <laughs> they in the barn, Jason, go get them. They in the barn. Spank them first, they was drinking too. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, you guys. <laughs> All right, if you'd like to subscribe and see more, click below. Now.